and welcome to Midwich TV here at Tech Expo 2022. I'm on the Epson stand and I am joined by Paul who's going to walk us through what tech we have on show here at the stand this year. First and foremost though, how are you doing? How's the event been so far? It's good to be back. It feels like it's been a while since we were here so really enjoy it. It's always a nice venue for us. We have a nice good stand space that can really show off a variety of kit. Footfall's been good for the morning. We've had a little bit of rain outside but we've dealt with that. Um, so yeah, really great to be back and things going well. Yeah, the weather's been a bit of a tricky one outside, right? But that's driving people inside, so... Yeah, exactly. Keep them in here in the warm, nice and safe. <laughs> exactly, we can't complain. So, tech then, let's talk technology. What have we got on the stand this year? What are we showcasing? Yeah, so you can see right here, we've brought our new flagship product, really, so the EBPU 2220B. So, a little bit of a mouthful, but a nice and compact product. So, easy to handle. Currently the world's smallest and lightest 20,000 lumen projector uh, that's available on the market today. So actually we launched this product back around May time, focused on rental and staging opportunities as the primary usage case, um, but also quite a compact unit for high brightness fixed installation. So going well into both of those end user markets at the minute. Nice, and what's behind us as well? We've got some tech behind us. What are we showcasing over here? Yeah, so we've got a little bit of variety really to try and show off the full Epson range. So we've got our ultra short throw interactive projector, EB735FI. So that's again, compact, affordable, kind of you know, good budget interactive projector for schools. Um, nice compact chassis you can see there, full HD, nice laser brightness there. Um, pen touch, optional finger touch as well. The real key selling point on that being the size that you can get from that product. So whereas touch screens become quite a lot more expensive on the larger sizes, actually here you can go interactive projection up to 100 inches, very easily cost effective. And then third product over my shoulder, EBPU 1008B, uh, in black chassis product there with LX01S black lens as well. So you can see that's a higher brightness ultra short throw solution designed for museum and creative environments where you haven't got a lot of space to work with, maybe you want to hide the projector away, but you can still have a really nice bright uh, large image uh, from very limited space, so Epson's lens technology being shown off there as well. But that's a kind of lens design that can also be used in the higher brightness products as well. So you could take that, we have a slightly bigger version, the LXO2, you could put that into the 20K projector and again, go massive screen from really short distances. So that's what it's all about for us really, is helping creative spaces as well as the more traditional spaces in education, getting big bright images on the wall in all scenarios, making sure that everybody can and see that content and really be engaged and excited by that content no matter what the environment. Cool, so um, I've just been redesigning my living room, which one are you going to be installing for me in this <laughs> small space? <laughs> well, how, how big do you want to go? How big's your living room? You know, you, you can see the, the benefits of projection though in terms of no reflections on that screen, it's quite easy watching. So again, there's other arguments against other display technologies that really do lend themselves to projection and yeah, you'd, you'd love to have that fill in your living room, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, 100%. If I had the choice, it would be in there all day, yeah. every day. <laughs> well, perfect. I know you're a busy man, so I'm going to give you back to the stand now. Cheers for joining us though. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe if you're enjoying the content here on Midwich TV. I'm going to go take a wander around and see what more I can go and dig into.